Hello and uh, welcome back to my video. In this video I will speak about the config parser for Python. And we are coming for the data types. So if we're going for the configuration file we have, you will see we have the string here. It's hello world. Compression should be a boolean. Uh, true and false. And then we have compression level should be an integer. And then we have string, string, string. And we can add the port number. Port number should be 9000. And this should be int2. And keep alive it should be a boolean2. So let's go back for the application. We have already uh, loaded the configuration file inside. So we have different types here. We can use the get command. Get always takes strings. It's uh, look like this one. A username equal to uh, config get and then we need database and then we need the user and if we're going down here to say print you can see we, we are hitting uh, the username the username is coming inside from here because we have a username so we can say test username so it's more clean for you to, to see test username and if we have the say user type and then the username you can see the string user string and test username if we do the same with the port go inside the port and the port you can see this is still a string so we want to expect this should be an incher. So what you can do is say get int and it's automatically convert the the, the number to an incher. You can see it inside here. Now it's an int. If you want to do this with the with the boolean, you can just type boolean here. And going inside here to say keep alive. That's what we want. And we can put it down here. And now it's a boolean false because no is false. And if we want to take it from the default, the only thing we want uh, to do, we want the title here from the default. So we can just say title here and say title and remove it. And copy this. And say we expect uh, one uh, requiring one uh, for optimal, but we know we can do this uh, from from the that because we need the default here. So let's try one more time, and now we have it. So we need always two params up here. The arguments, sorry. The first one is the section, default database. The second one, title, should be the, the argument here for the title. So default title. And we have the database, user database port, and yeah, keep going for that. Now you're probably sitting and thinking about what happening if we have uh, something in the configuration is optional and is not set yet, then we can use the fallback method. Let's say we want a timeout here. Timeout. And in the database, we want to say the timeout. And you can see we don't have any timeout here yet. And if I print this out, you will see an error. Let's, uh, yeah, let's keep it here. We'll get an error because no options called timeout in the section database. So what you can do here is just to make a comment, a, a comma, sorry, and call fallback. 
and we know this should be an inch and not a boolean so that's my uh, error and we want to say default is 60 seconds if nothing can happen in 60 seconds then make a, a, a timeout and now we have it if we're going inside the configuration file and say timeout is equal to 300 this meaning five minutes and we call it again it's converted for this so that's how we're working with the data type in config parser i hope you enjoyed very well if you have any questions please make them in the comment below and remember you can find the source code on my github the link will be in the comments below and i hope you want to subscribe my channel to so press the link below in the right corner and give it this video a, a like and if you like you can share it with your friends thank you so much for your time hope to see you next time